Hello everybody, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and this is, I know, it's hard to believe, it is Thursday, the 30th of December of 2021. This will be our last YouTube video in 2021. The next time we chat will be a brand new year. So, I hope you're having a great end of your 2021, and I will wish you now all the best in 2022. So let's just be double sure I'm actually transmittalating. It looks like I am. Hey, Rosie, appreciate you joining and letting me know you're here because that tells me I'm out on the interwebs. Thank you so much. So here's the card we're going to work on today. This is using the new On the Horizon bundle. Uh, and I'm going to just fess up. This one kind of intimidated me because I've seen some really amazing samples out there already, and I felt a little inadequate to be able to uh, get there. Hey, where? Hi, Karen. Appreciate you joining Glenda, everybody. Um, so I did what I sometimes do when I feel intimidated. I start with a with some ideas from the samples in the catalog, and that's that's what I did. So I think it's important to remember that if you are looking for inspiration, the catalog samples are awesome. Uh, the Stampin' Up! designers are amazing creators and they're a really good place to see some ideas. And when you start trying to recreate what they've done without looking at the recipes, then you can really kind of learn some ideas. And I'm gonna share a couple of those things with you here today. Hi, Michelle, hi, Jean, and Faith and Susan. Appreciate you joining. Thank you, Jean. I appreciate that. Like I said, it it started with some inspiration from the sample, and then I kind of, I took it from there. It's not terribly far from the sample, but, you know, I, I did what I could do. So let's go ahead and get started. I've done some die cutting ahead, but I'm going to kind of give you some tips that I learned as I was creating this. So, you, you'll see I didn't do any matting here. Usually I mat everything, but I kind of liked the cleaner look. So so that's where I went. I started with one. This is the piece of the New Horizons paper that I used for this piece. You could call it the mat if you wanted. And I just cut it to its size and then adhered it with liquid glue. So that's what we're going to start. And I have a um, Evening Evergreen card front. And unlike most of my cards, I'm actually going to build directly. Hey, Amy, thank you so much. Hi, Linda, appreciate you joining. Welcome for the first time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some liquid glue. Like I said, I usually don't build on my card, but I'm going to do that with this one just because that's the way it looks. You can see this is the, this is the DSP that's on the other side, and it's quite beautiful. This one, there's a sample with just two of the picket fences in here and a sentiment that's quite beautiful. So lots to be done with this New Horizon DSP. What I'm going to do with this side, though, is put a little liquid glue on it and adhere it to the front of my Evening Evergreen card base. And I'm going to put it at a jaunty little angle. <coughs> now, y'all keep your fingers crossed. <coughs> We're having some storms today. We've had a couple of really strong ones come through, so with any luck, the internet will stay up long enough for us to be able to get this done. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Daryl. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Deborah. That's very kind. I appreciate that. <coughs> Vicki, yes, I've been off a few minutes, and I'm going to have a coughing fit, so hang on. Let me get a little drink here. Don't expect me to stay here, Amy. I don't, it's just not me. It makes me kind of feel yeah, tingly. So this layer right here, just so you know, all of these will be on my card, on my blog tomorrow. But this layer is three and a quarter by five. And then I have a piece of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper that's three and three eighths by four and five eighths. Okay. Adhered with liquid glue. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of stamping on here. What I'll start with is some Garden Green. There are a lot of colors that coordinate with this cardstock or with this DSP, so you should be pretty well good to go. Almost regardless of what green you pick, it's going to go. I'm going to use Garden Green. Or no, I'm sorry. I'm going to use... See, I almost borked it right there just from the get, just from the jump. Wouldn't have been a true bork, but it wouldn't have been what I was looking for. Yeah, this morning, Debbie, oh my goodness, it was time to go out and feed, and I looked outside, and I couldn't see across my eight-foot driveway, <laughs> and the lightning was flashing, and I thought, you know, I better turn the TV on, and sure enough, 
my home was right under a giant red cell of thunderstorm. So I decided to wait a few minutes. All right, so I'm using this. I love this grass image, image in the On the Horizon set, and I'm just going to use, I'm going to stamp it right about here in Evening Evergreen. Aw, Faith, you're so sweet. I'll pay you later. The check will be in the mail soon. All right, so I've just stamped that right on the card front. We'll put this away. Now, here's where some of the fun happens. This is some of the things that I did ahead of time. Now, let me show you the DSPs that I used because that was one of the harder pieces of figuring out what the what they had done. What in the world did they do? So they started with this piece of DSP and they cut what is the die that would cut out this plank panel. Okay, so you can see this die cuts this plank stamp out. But all I did was cut a piece of sky out with it, okay? So that is this part. And then I cut two grasses. There's a beautiful grass die from the bottom, the greenish part. That seems reasonable, right? Sky out of blue, grass out of green. Makes perfect sense. I like it. I like it when a plan comes together like that. And I made the picket fence by stamping said wood panel in crumb cake on a piece of the watercolor paper, and then I used this die to cut it out. Now you'll see it is not the same size. It's a little bit bigger than that stamped image. When you do this, just make sure that the pickets, the top of the pickets are actually in the stamped image, all right? Because you're really going to essentially cover up this whole bottom part, so you'll be good to go if you just get the tops of the fence pickets in the stamped image. Okay, makes sense? Sure, of course it makes sense. Of course, of course. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I am going to stamp this with the same grasses, but in garden green, okay? Do you think you could do it with evening evergreen? Of course, but then, you know, that would be too easy. Anybody could do that. Let's change up the colors. Let's change up the colors. So watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna stamp my sky with some garden green grass. Oops, like that. And then I'm gonna take that picket fence that I cut before you came, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna worry about lining it up. It really doesn't matter. It's grass. It doesn't know to line up, okay? So I'm gonna stamp it like that right there. Okay, and that's gonna give a little depth before you even get started. I know, the grass and the fence. It's all, I love the grass and the fence. If there was nothing else in this bundle to love, I would be loving the grass and the fence. Okay, now watch what we're gonna do. I'm going to set this in place and start thinking about building my layers, right? It's gonna be like this, and then I've got a sentiment that I stamped in Evening Evergreen on this design, which is this one on the back, okay? And I stamped it in Evening Evergreen and I cut it with the small skinny die in the stitched rectangle. So that's gonna go there. And then we're gonna have some grasses here and grasses here. So that kind of gives me an idea where I want everything lined up. Obviously it'll be a little different than that, but what I'm looking for is where this piece is gonna go. Okay, so with that in place, I'm gonna take some basic gray, and I'm gonna take these birds, also from the, On the Horizon. Hi, Betty, appreciate you joining. And then I'm going to stamp it over the top of the die cut and the card front, like that, okay? And then I'm gonna put this away before I have an ink catastrophe because that is how it goes. You should never have an ink catastrophe on the last video of the of the year. There's just something bad about that. It's like, you know, go out the way you want your new year to start. I don't know, something like that. So then I'm gonna just take, you can see that little piece right there lines up with the tip of that little dude's feather. So I'm going to lay it on just like that. Okay, perfect. 
parfait. Now, now we're going to do a little playing with our fence pickets. I'm going to roll it just a little bit. You know, this is a dune, this is a an erosion control fence, really, is what it really is. If you've ever been on a dune, you know that that's what it is. And so it's real flimsy, and it's usually rolly like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it more rolly by curling it. And then I'm going to take, you know these little edges of your dimensionals? They're real handy for this. I'm just going to cut some narrow strips like so. And yeah, this is maybe a little fiddly, but it's worth it. Cut three or four little narrow strips. And I'm gonna put them just in the middle here, okay? Not on either end, because I wanna pop the center out and keep it popped out to get that depth. So just like that. That one is a little bit angled, so that means I would be able to see it, and I'm gonna fix that. Don't be scared of this. You can do it. You can do it. I know, right, Victoria? Hey, Sue. Hi, Pam. Appreciate you coming. And let's see. I think I'll go one right there, too. All right. So then what that's going to do... Oh, it's under here. <laughs> Where in the heck did it go? Where did it go? See, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep it popped up right like that. Just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere it. So really, all this is is cutting out some die cuts and piling them on a piece of cardstock, which in this case is watercolor paper. Does it need to be watercolor paper? No, but it adds a nice little earthy. And you can see it's kind of very vanilla, but not really, and it's certainly not white. So the watercolor paper is kind of creamy colored, which gives it a different look entirely from either of the card stocks. So then I'm going to put this right about here, like so. You can see it kept the curl. Can you see how it's keeping the curl, which is kind of fun. Now I'm gonna take another one of those little strips and put it on the end of my um, grass. Right on the end of my grass, right here. A little grass strip. We'll take the cover off. And then I'm gonna use some liquid glue right here and use that to adhere to the fence picket, like so. Just like so, just like so. Now we'll take our sentiment. I think the paper's gonna be pretty darn popular. I really do, don't forget to clip on, oh yes. Thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on and then build the rest of the card on the card front. Why? Because I can. So I'm gonna just adhere this with dimensionals. And also it lets me see where I can off-lap. That's different than overlap. It's where you let it fall off the edges. That's off-lapping. Something I just made up. I don't often make up words, but when I do, they make perfect sense. All right, pull these off. Come on, Thunder, stay away. I just need 10, 15 more minutes of internet. We're getting, we've got all the flood warnings going. I don't think we're gonna flood here, but we've got water rolling. Okay, so the one of the tricks when you're using an angled panel is if you have a panel you want straight, be sure that you're making your eye look at the top of the card. Okay, and it will fool you. I have pulled cards, uh, panels off more times than I can count because my brain says, oh no, it's crookedy, and it isn't. The panel underneath it is crookedy. So I am going to center that, align the top with the top, and the bottom with the bottom, and the sides with the sides, and adhere it like so. Okay. So then for my sentiment, I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals under the right side assuming I ever find my little strip of dimensional. What did I do? Did I fling it? Did I fling it? I probably flinged it. Oh, there it is, it's right where I flinged it. I'll put a couple of dimensionals under the right side of my sentiment here, and a little liquid glue on the other end. Brutally cold Canada. You are more than welcome to that, but you stay safe and stay inside, because brutally cold is not good. Hopefully, Everybody has their animals and their children inside as well. 
All right, so we're gonna put this right about here and you can see why I built it on the card front because I want to off lap over here, but I don't wanna off lap the card base itself, just the card front. Okay, so there we go. And then I know you're gonna be shocked. I'm gonna use some more of those little strips of the dimensionals that I cut. And I'm gonna put it on my second grass right there, like that. And then I'm gonna use another piece that's not a tiny strip and put it right there, like that. And we'll pick this up, pick this up. Come on, come on fingers, don't fail me now. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this like so. Don't care if the sentiment is a little overlap, but I'd still like to see that it says, you know, thanks for everything. Then we're going to put some pebbles on. Yes, we have everything this year. We have faux sea glass and we have pebbles. So you can make a little pathway, you can make a reef, you can make all sorts of things. What I'm gonna do is put some of these little pebbles right here like so. And a little grayish one. And another little, we'll go a little smaller brown one. No, we need a little bigger brown one. Oh, come off of there. Come on now. There we go. There it comes. And we'll pile that right there like so. I think these are so cool. And then let's go ahead and get a one right here. And maybe one right there. Like that. And there, as they say in the industry, is our card front. See? All right. Now, on the inside, Somewhere I've got some more cardstock cut. What I decided to do was go very vanilla. So I'm splitting the difference between white and the, the watercolor paper is kind of splitting the difference for white and cream. So I'm, I decided to go with very vanilla. And what I'm going to do is clean off my stamp because I had green on, garden green on it last and I want to use Evening Evergreen. And I'm just going to stamp my grass in evening evergreen on the bottom corner here like this mm -hmm. and then i'm going to put my birds up in the corner birds in a corner which is like birds in a cage but different again with the basic gray and you do want to kind of take a look because that's not right these are upside down flying birds, and that doesn't happen unless, you know, <laughs> well, you know, the end of the end of days, the birds might fly upside down. We're just gonna put this up in the corner like that. And I'm gonna use my, I don't know what I did there, but apparently I got a little bit jiggy with some ink at some point, so I'm gonna just use my eraser. Let's see if I can get that off. You, can, you maybe can't see it, but I can see it. And then I'm gonna mat this on Very Vanilla. So I've got Very Vanilla on Very Vanilla. Ah, Daryl, thank you. Linda, I'll bet you did see this scene in Myrtle Beach. Now in Myrtle Beach, it might've actually been snowing. I've probably mentioned in the past, the first time I, when we lived in Delaware, I'm a California girl, grew up in Southern California, so my beach experience was the Pacific. And we went to the beach, hurried to the beach when we moved to Delaware, and it was snowing. And my California girl self just could not get my head around that at all. It was like, oh, it's not supposed to snow on the beach. That just ain't right. Don't care who you are, it ain't right. It just ain't right, it ain't fitting. All right, we're gonna use a little liquid glue here. And 
try to put it in right side up. Just throwing that out there. Otherwise, you've got the birds flying upside down again with grass over their heads. Not right. Not right at all. Mm -mm, not even sort of. All right, so let's go ahead and make us up a little envelope. I got a very vanilla envelope, and I'm going to stamp my... Aw, oh, Karen, you're sweet. I'm going to stamp my grasses again in Evening Evergreen. Okay, who's with me? Everybody give me a thumbs up. Whose favorite green is Evening Evergreen? Just go for it, because it. I know it's going to be a lot, because it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's my favorite green maybe ever. All right. There we go. And then I'm going to do my birds again, but this time I'm going to do it in stamped off one scray because I just don't want quite that much um, gray. I just don't want it to be that much. Okay. So I'm going to ink, stamp, stamp. And there we have the front of our envelope. Now, I got it. I pulled out another piece, another design of the New Horizons because I didn't. Let's just be honest. I didn't want to use the piece that I had there because I wanted to save it because I love it. This one has those peachy colors in it, and so I thought it would be just fine for my envelope flap, and that's what I did. Yay, evening evergreen! Yes, and if you pair it with soft succulent and a little pale papaya. You got a card now, just throwing it out there. That is an awesome color combination. Pale papaya, soft succulent, and evening evergreen. All right, there we go. And we'll give this a quick trim. World's easiest fussy cutting right here. Great way to practice. Remember your technique. Keep your paper right against the fulcrum of your scissors. And... Turn the paper as much as you can, not the scissors. See how I did that? Not the scissors. Turn the paper, not the scissors. And there we go. All right. A beach scene that has not got one palm tree anywhere in it. There. I love this set so much. When I first saw it, I remember saying to Amy... I don't really love this set, but then I saw the <laughs> samples that they did it on stage and I was done. And now I am a total convert and I think you will be too. So New Horizons Suite coming out. It's Tuesday, you guys, like four days, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two, five days from now, you'll be able to get your hands on this. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. I hope you have a safe and happy New Year's Eve. Do not forget to eat your greens and black eyed peas on saturday we need luck and fortune in 2022 just so you know the jury is still out about whether i'll be doing a facebook on saturday evening it is new year's day i may be making snacks and watching a football game so i will let you guys know uh probably saturday morning on my blog post okay thank you so much appreciate you spending part of the last couple of days of 2021 with me and i'm looking forward to spending a lot of days with you in 2022 Ta.